Okay, first graders, our structural analysis page this week is reviewing the inflectional endings ED, which means something happened in the past, or ING, meaning it's happening now. So we add ED to an action word to tell us what happened in the past. And remember, ED says ED when it comes after a T or a D. Otherwise, it sounds like D, a D, or it sounds like T, a T. You know how it sounds based on the sounds that come before. So if you hear right before the ED, a sound that's down in your throat, like G, 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 then you're going to have D, D, D after with the ED because it's down your throat. But if you have a sound that's more in your mouth, mm, 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 like an N sound, then you're going to say, mm, t, mm, t, mm, t. you're going to have a T sound because that's up in your mouth. Okay, so those are some tricks to know when you're reading a word and trying to figure out what sound you need. ING tells what is happening now. We change some words, though, before we add the ED or IND or ing. Okay. For example, raised, we take away the e and then put the ed ending because then we still have an e tickling the a to say its own name. We still have the e telling the c to um, sound like more like an s, but we don't have two e's to get the e sound. So race, raced, we took the e away. Also, remember, we often have Y at the end of the word pretending to be an I because I's don't like to be at the end of words. But those Y's can go back to being I's when we add an ending, ED, also ES. So try, we go back to the I before we add the ED to make it tried. Dropping, we add another P to drop before we add the ending. Okay, so we have some sentences down here and they already told us what the action word is, but we have to decide if it's an ED and happened in the past or ING um, to say it's happening now. And then we need to make any changes that might be needed, okay? So number one says, I blank the dog after his bath. I drying the dog after his bath or I dried the dog after his bath. Dried, okay, so I'm using the word dry here. But notice dry ends with a Y. So I'm gonna do my DR, but instead of a Y, I'll switch it to an I before I add my ED, dried. Just like that. Who is blank at the door now? Knock. Who is knocked? Nope, because it says now. Who is knocking? Now knocking doesn't have a single um, consonant by itself at the end after the vowel. And it doesn't have an E at the end or a Y at the end. So we don't actually need to make any changes here. We just get to keep knock. And because it's happening now, add the ing, knocking. Okay, my cat, let's see, number three, my cat blank me yesterday. Okay, if it happened yesterday, it's in the past. So we're going to be using ed. And you need to decide if any changes need to happen. The bus blank here last week. Okay, last week is in the past. So again, we're going to be adding ED to the word stop and make it stopped. Scratch, scratched, stop, stopped. Mom is blank a letter. Mom is right, righted, writing. Writing, so we're going to do the ING ending here. 
and you will need to decide if any changes need to be made. Okay, so go ahead and try out three, four, and five, and make sure to check your answers later. Good luck.